Hey guys, today we're reviewing the Protect knife sprint. Beautiful little knife made very, very nicely with really nice features. It's automatic knife, but it is California legal. Uh, some size comparisons. So the Dragonfly actually, its cutting edge is just under two inches. Uh, so each square here is a half an inch. So you can see that's one inch and two inches over here. It's just under that, and the sprint is the same, just under two inches, barely under two inches. So cutting edge is the same as the Dragonfly, but when you look at it, it's a lot more compact. Uh, the Dragonfly, I do have a review on it. It does have a finger choil and a thumb ramp, and the uh, Protec knife sprint does not, but it is more pocketable. When you close it, it is just super slim I've been throwing it in my coin pocket on my jeans a lot and the uh, dragonfly is just a lot less compact I mean you can fit the sprint right on it and have a lot of dragonfly left uh, so it's a very very compact uh, this isn't meant I don't think for heavy duty tasks so it's only a uh, one two three four thumb grip now there's no there's no jimping like on the dragonfly you see some jimping over here so you can really push on things it's just a little bit classier there's a lot of models out there that are black with a black um, blade however I got the satin blade I'll put some photos that I've taken it just uh, do it better justice than this video it's just a very attractive very handsome blade very nice finish <clears throat> on the handle side is a band of uh, aluminum again extremely nice uh, really not curved but the edges are taken down very nicely very thoroughly uh, some contouring over here for your finger the pocket clip is done just beautifully as you can see it has recess buttons unlike their uh, CVV Anthropos where the screws are on the way when you put the clip in your pocket it's not a huge pain in the butt but when you start using this one you just notice how it's a step above and aesthetically it is a very very nice uh, clip it looks like a really fancy pen when you have it in your pocket um, the, the, this isn't a $100 knife this is a budget knife uh, so uh, you know take this comparison with a grain of salt but this clip on on the city of anthropos is a ergonomic nightmare it's always poking you it's kind of ugly it's finished very lazily i think and the screws are sticking out when you look at this clip it is finished just very very beautifully uh recessed screws it is not an ergonomic nightmare when you deploy the knife uh your middle finger rests right on it and when you grip the knife, it just totally disappears in your hand. At least in my hand it does. I wear large size gloves. I'm a construction worker, so my hands are pretty uh, gnarly uh, with a lot of calluses. So keep that in mind. So the handle, great. Um, clip is great. The, hand, uh, the blade is great. The blade finish is great. The pivot screw, done beautifully. Just, just beautifully recessed. Uh, finished uh, with a little bit of polish but you can see some of the ground grinding the ground um, finish on it you can see some of the lines which is beautiful you can see it more on this side you can see sprint and then you can see the serial number 1203 which is really nice <clears throat> I think then some of the different finished models is not as subtle as on this one I mean this one you can't you can barely see it you know sprint PR6 uh, so it is really nice on this finish you know the uh, I know a lot of people complain about all of their black knives and stuff like that but I mean sprint does a lot of colors I've seen them with like the American flag which is beautiful I've been drooling over it for a long time they do blues they do whites they do mother of pearl they do patterns they they do a lot so 
you know, you need to look into it if you think it's just a knife company doing black knives. <clears throat> the other good thing, and I'm not, I know I'm drooling over this knife because I really love it. It is the button itself. It's it's recessed, uh, so that if you push it on a flat surface, it will not deploy. However, it you might have to push the blade back, see, and then it pushes the button back. Um, that is beautiful. Reese's button is beautiful, and the bu the button itself is really nice. It is done uh, really nice. Again, you can see, well, focus. You can really see the lines on the finish, and it has like a little bit of rounding, which is really nice on your thumb. It is just really um, well thought out button, uh, and you can hit it um, very easily with your thumb there's no problem with that I mean you can even hit it with the other fingers and then on the back here it's not it doesn't have a spacer or standoffs it just one scale and two scales and they're screwed together which makes it feel like an integral knife I know it's not an integral knife uh, I don't have the money for those but it just feels like a solid chunk of aluminum to be honest with you guys this feels like you are grabbing a sandwich made out of a lot of things. This, it feels like you're grabbing a sandwich of plastic. Um, that's something different. I only brought two knives for size comparison. And uh, my new flashlight. Look at, look at that. Through night, Neutron 2C. But back on this uh, knife, it just feels like a solid piece of aluminum. Um, the screws that keep it together are also uh, set in. This whole knife is just really well thought out. Construction is perfect. The centering on the blade is beautiful. Um, I've heard that there's like blade play on it. I don't feel it myself. Uh, I am a construction worker. I use my knives really toughly. This one, however, I have not been using uh, on tough stuff because it's a small knife. I think it's meant for secondary... Uh, carry like if you're gonna carry another knife and then you carry this one I think it's meant for like a Sunday or like a dressing up the kind of knife which that's what I've been using it for guys opening envelopes uh, opening packages this I used to like finish drilling cabinets like if I'm off by an eighth of an inch I just go in there with it <laughs> or uh, if I need to cut some drywall and my tool bag's too far I just go to town with this uh, if I need to cut shims off of cabinets, and you know, I just use this. I, I've been using it as a construction companion, and uh, it's been working nicely. But this, I've been using it like a secondary knife, like a Sunday knife, weekend knife, slacks kind of knife, suits kind of knife. And I love it. This is my dressing up knife. This knife is staying in my collection. I'm, now I'm rambling and I'm 8 minutes in and I haven't said a single negative thing about it. And the reason why is it's really hard to find a negative. I know people are going to say, well, the blade is too short. Well, if you're buying an under 2 inch blade, the blade's going to be under 2 inches, guys. <laughs> See? Under 2 inches. Don't expect to get 3 inches out of a 2 inch knife. If you need a 3 inch knife, buy a 3 inch knife. If you need over 3 inches... Uh, you, then you need to buy a knife that's over three inches. So the size is not a negative because you know the size when you buy it. Um, the um, like this dragonfly here, it's under two inches. If you use your dragonfly and you like it, you're gonna like the sprint. Except you know the dragonfly is a little bit more uh, ergonomic, but the blade is just as useful. And you're not doing anything tough with a two-inch blade. Uh, yeah. I don't know what tough things you can do with a 2 inch blade, you know what I mean? Uh, if you need to do something tough, you know, uh, you can do it with this. It's way better constructed than this with a way better steel. Uh, it's an S35EN, which is good to go. Uh, it's came sharpened uh, kind of nicely, but this is where the negatives start, okay guys? Yeah, here we go. 10 minutes in, we'll make it quick. So the sharpening is uneven. And I know that's like stupid, but it matters to me. So you can see at the bottom right here, it starts on one side and it gets a little bit taller. And then on this side, it's just really nice and focused. 
really nice and really even and on this side it, it just gets thicker at the bottom here which is not a problem and then you can see it's really toothier really toothy uh, type of a blade um, they do it by hand so I think somebody just does it pretty quickly especially you know a knife this small you just probably hold it like this and go and add it like that again and you know throw it on the batch call it good uh, so it's not sharpened as nice as it is constructed it is a good sharp uh, it's a good sharpening job but it was really sharp it still is you, know, you can still shave hair with it but it's not done like the rest of the knife is done uh, if I if you can understand that when you grab a CVB you know everything's gonna be made uh, affordably like with D2 and, and G10 but you know everything's gonna be done nicely like very centered uh, great action etc etc you know it's gonna be uh, throughout it's gonna be really nice when you buy a, a, a more affordable spider coat you know it's gonna be a really affordable spider coat type finish uh, with this everything is done near you know perfect near high end and then when you look at the at the sharpening it's done like you know not high end um, it, I'm a, my Ace Iona came with a with a really uh, similar sharpened job and but it matched the rest of the knife <laughs> no disrespect they saw you know it's a great knife m390 great designers great clip as well but uh, it was done uh, very evenly and this on the other hand uh, and again I'm going too much into this it is a good uh, edge it cuts beautifully it cuts perfectly it opens packages it shaves hair etc etc but you know everything else was done so perfectly that's why I'm pointing it out the only other thing that annoys me a little bit is this gap right here you know I don't know if they can do anything to it again I'm getting too picky with this knife and it's only because I love it so much I I am thinking about getting a higher uh, version of it with like a mother of pearl button but I do like the satin blade and I do like the lighter color uh, handles but I don't know, Mother Pro button button would be really nice on it. The last negative is that if you disassemble it, which is why I haven't done it, your warranty gets void. And I don't really want my warranty void on this knife because I really like it. So, yeah. If you want to clean it, all you can do is wash it out and blow it out with a with an air blower. And if you, you know, when you get your knives, you sharpen them immediately it's not gonna have that negative so all, that's all I can find that's negative on this knife uh, again that's keeping in mind that you are buying it under two inch uh, cutting edge type of knife okay um, yeah secondary knife dressing up knife guys thank you very much for your attention here on the YouTube platform um, this is another size comparison of it open now uh, please have a wonderful wonderful day uh, thank you for all of your views please like and subscribe this video for more reviews and more unboxings etc etc